All right, so last time we left off, we had beaten each of the worlds on this first level and gained access to this second level, but not this third one. So the question is, which of these do we want to go to first? I think these diamonds on the floor indicate a linear puzzle level, whereas these circles indicate an open exploration world. Looks like we've got three worlds and one linear track. Uh, let's check this one out first. First we gotta solve these two little diamonds before we can open up the world. Which these will be space station tasks. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Did I set Restream up properly to stay on top? Always on top mode. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so it looks like I can't make this jump. I'm guessing 0G is in effect, so that I'll be able to kind of float my way across. Yep. I did this to cheese an earlier puzzle, but it looks like it's part of the intended solution now. I seem to have missed, though. What's the reset button? R. So let's try that again. This time we're going to get more of a run-up. And a better jump. If I remember correctly, the way you finesse things in this game, oh, that was unlucky on the bob, is you can change your spinning and your momentum while you're in the air, and then it'll take effect once you hit the ground. Hopefully I'm on the top of the, there we go, on the top of the waveform that time. We're off to the races. I'll have to redo that every time I fall. Oh shit, I wasn't ready. Go back. God damn it. It's gonna take forever. Let's reset that. So it looks like I need to do a couple of these big jumps back to back. Okay, but they save my progress after each one. Oh yeah, and if I hold space bar, the ball will float higher. Like, oh god damn it, off we go into space. We seem to be making steady progress. Am I going I'm going up there? Okay. Oh, this is an elevator. I was like, am I gonna have to space jump all the way up there? It's gonna be really tedious. Now I do have to space jump to get over these ledges. So this is where the different heights of the jump physics are going to start to matter. I hold spacebar there, I can get more air. Oh, now I've done screwed myself. Or have I? Hey, okay. <laughs> we're going to end up back where we started. We didn't have to reset at any rate. Maybe it would be faster to reset. Try this jump again. I wonder if I could get underneath the wall by jumping high enough. Oh neat, you can. It'd kill my momentum a little bit, but as long as I get on top of this next ledge, it's fine. God damn it. Alright. Third time's a charm. Do this again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I think this concludes the puzzle.
Okay, now we are expected to space jump all the way up. I think I've already stuffed it up, but we're going to still give it a try. It does seem like my directional inputs are having somewhat of an effect, despite me not touching anything. Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna retry this. I don't think I need to go all the way over that big wall. I think I just need to go under this wall. Like this. Yeah, but I killed my forward momentum by touching. Let's go a little slower so we don't touch the wall in front of us. Nope, now we went too slow. Alternately, this might be an easier approach. Uh, yeah, going around the side, they make it hard because it's, the ledge is just barely too narrow for your marble. But I bet this is still going to be the easier approach. Yep, that's the easy way to do it. We go over there. Over here. Oh, wait, that's the exit. Why'd they make that so easy to get to? Am I missing something? Oh no, this is... I'm on a different vertical slice. See, those pylons to the side determine where the gravity happens. That... I think that is either... I think that's an earlier puzzle that I already did, and that's not what I'm trying to get to. Which implies that all these outdoor space station puzzles, are they part of one environment, and I've just been encountering different pieces of them? Because that's kind of neat. I wonder if there's like more puzzles higher up or elsewhere in this environment. Anyway, we can get onto these. Oh, I've done stuffed it up. Also, I remember now that when you reset your marble, the direction the camera you're, is pointing is usually the direction you want to go. If you get completely turned around, that's one way to get a hint. Almost had that. There we go. Much better. Um, is this the play? Are we going over here? Nope, I've done stuffed it up again. Damn. That platform on the right is lower, so I think we jump to that, then we go across to the left, because that platform's higher. Or we just fall into the abyss again like a dork. Um, unless I'm supposed to go over there. I don't think I am. I ain't have better momentum this time. Hey, there we go. This looks promising. We'll get there eventually. Come on. Come on. Okay. Try this again. <laughs> Alright. Where the hell I'm going? Did I just circle back to where I, I just circled back to where I was? Let's try that again. Where am I now? Okay. Oh, it's this jump again. Oh, you know what it is? This here is part of the earlier path. What I'm supposed to do is use this elevated position to get to that far opening. 
like this. Except not like that. Um, I guess we can see if this goes anywhere. Try that again. Same thing, but don't jump so high this time. God damn, it's really a tough jump to get right in there. Maybe we can cheese it by finding our way around this wall to the other side of that opening. Because that's where it comes out. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh, I done fucked it up. much momentum when I landed again. Oh, okay, now, we, now we've done it. Oh, what if we go over here? And if we don't goddamn rush, it might have been easier. What fuck am I? Okay. We want to get over there. Well, there's an opening right there that we can reach. Because the anti-gravity well dips down to include that doorway. I think we can just jump right to here. And I think that's the exit we're looking for. <laughs> Tried to cheese it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit, and I passed into another layer. That's not what we want. So if you jump too high, the higher up space gravity layers can grab you. We're in between two of them right now. There we go. So this wasn't a separate puzzle exit, this was just the same one and I hadn't quite gotten to it yet. Alright, this world's open now. Where we end up. Oh, it's like a green planet plants and stuff. What is that effect? Like this weird mycelium substance that avoids touching me. Huh. I wonder if there's going to be some kind of marble power-up that lets me interact with it. And what that would look like. There's something going on over here. Oh, I heard a bunch of bugs. I think I was reading the description of this world on the Steam trading card. It's got like all these butterfly life forms. This is like the only planet in the system that has life. I what that over there is. Oh, 
falling off the cliff. There seems to be a guide beacon. Oh, there's guide beacons over there. Okay. That's where I need to try and go. We might be able to reach one of those platforms if I jump far enough. Yo, okay, we can reach that. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, cool. This waterfall cave now. Oh, and an ice ball. That was a power-up gateway. And the door I came in through was a power-up gateway. It just didn't have a power-up. Is this waterfall frozen now? Oh, neat, and I can ascend waterfalls. start at this so I can get over there. Yo, okay. There's a guide up there. Let's see if we can get to him like this. It's probably not the intended route, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to see if I can. Yeah, it's tricky to roll on a spherical surface without falling. Okay, there's an elevator right here. Oh, sh of course I managed to use an elevator wrong and fall in the drink. I'm surprised this is traversable down here. Oh, yo, and they don't reset you for falling in the water because it's not acid water. It just works like the space physics. Neat. And that's how it would have got back up. There's an elevator there. There's a fire power up over there. This feels like it's heading towards a collectible. 
four, maybe not, but that felt really rough. And looped back to where I just was a second ago. Uh oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's see where we end up. Looks like there's a power up underwater over there. Let's check it out. That's an ice power up. Nice. But now I'm stuck. Whoops. Looks like there's a button in the middle of this bowl of fire that I need to press, but I expect I'm not going to be able to press it without that fire power up I saw. How do I get up there is the question. Let's just start climbing. In fact, if I reset, it will take me to the top of this area. And I can try and go up instead of down. Look for opportunities to climb rather than descend. Like fear question mark? This jump's too high though, there's no way. I think I need to go down there and then find a way back up. Which is probably what this ring is headed towards. That's too steep to climb, though. I'm following this cliff for a minute, maybe something will present itself. Oh, no, where does this go? suspiciously like a path over here. Let's try following this. checkpoint did update, so I must be heading towards something of consequence. What is that thing? Does that do anything, or is that just a decorative structure? Looks like a decorative structure. I think the game wants me to head this way. How am I supposed to make that jump? I think I need to go to the left where it's narrower. Alright, there we go. More like it. Maybe this 
this way. Nope, shit, I fucked that up. Climb this thing, and then there's an elevator. I'm getting somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's the fire power up. We found it. We actually land in the lava flow that goes towards that pool. the fireball would have on water like would it cause me to shatter like a hot pan thrown in ice water or would I dissolve would I evaporate the water like maybe evaporating the water is how you get the ice power up without getting stuck oh yeah I can't jump I need this little platform here to get out of the lava there we go if I jump in this what happens <laughs> You just kind of roll along like normal, I guess. No real interaction to speak of. Alright, now we got ice. And fire is stored there if we want it later. Now that I've got ice, my question is how much can I freeze? If I just jump in the goddamn ocean, will it freeze the entire thing? I'm gonna try it. you're in a new ice age or whatever okay no if you try to jump in something as big as the ocean it seems to get you stuck um where the hell am i i think i still need that ice power up which i've now lost by jumping in the ocean Um, well, let's take the game's word for it. The reset is telling me to head in this direction. Which is, here's the area I froze before, so I can get the ice power up back easily. I think this is the power up gate that was previously underwater, but pressing the fire switch raised it up. Ooh, and now that this is frozen and I'm the normal ball, it's acting like I'm on ice. Which is kind of annoying. I can't very well control the direction of travel. But let's get lined up before we touch the ice. Like so. And here we are. Now we can navigate ice. Where are we going? I assume we need to platform like across the water and such without falling in. Or maybe we bring this power up back inland, where there's smaller pools of water. Actually, can I descend a waterfall that's this steep? Is that a waterfall, or is that just more mycelium? It's just more mycelium. Where the hell do I take this now? Maybe I have to do something over here near where I got the power up. Now that I have this whole area iced over, what new spots does that open up for me? 
additional thought. What happens if I jump in the lava with an ice power-up? I assume it kills me, but we're going to see. Yeah, I just melt like normal. There's a waterfall over there I could climb using the ice. Oh shit, that damn icicle got me good. Try this again. Let's go check out that waterfall over there, that seems suspect. I guess the ice ball would need a waterfall to climb because, if I'm remembering correctly, the power balls do not operate elevators. Okay, yes, this is definitely something. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it so eminently climbable. You give me such a nice landing platform. Oh, what's this over here? Another fire area. And there's a fireball. lava to get to the next part of this track. Like here I can go break that fire window. Oh I can't jump so I have to use this. And then I need to get ice again to climb this waterfall. The ice is right here. Uh, excuse me, where am I? I'm trapped under all the glass. There we go. Oops. Oh, God damn it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go around. Okay, I really need to ascend the middle of the waterfall, or I'm gonna. This is gonna keep happening. And right here. There we go. God damn it. Yeah, I assume I just follow this river now. Um, here maybe? Usually glowing orbs indicate the direction I should go, and it looks like there's a switch right here. Now we flipped one fire switch and one water switch. Ooh, but the switch is under the water. So I don't know if that counts as flipping it. I might need to find a fire power up to defrost this again. Where does this take me? Okay, that's not open. That's what the switch is for. Here's a fire power up right here. And then I guess there's another eight so that I can get the normal ball as well. Is the fireball allowed to go in water? I mean, 
must be if I'm supposed to use it to melt the ice. Just by necessity fall in the water when I do that. Yep. So, oh weird. You actually sink to the bottom when you're the fireball. That's a cool interaction. Alright, and now we need to get across that water using either the ice or the normal ball. Um, let me see if I can just get there with the fireball. If they allow that. No, they do not. They want me to use one of the other two. I'm assuming the normal ball's here for a reason, so let's grab that. They're probably about to ask me to use an elevator or something that I need the normal ball for. I doubt it's just here as a red herring, or they wouldn't have made it, you know, non-trivial to get to. Oh, interesting. The normal ball's sinking as well. Previously it wasn't sinking, it was, like, space gravity. Also, the gravity here is kind of funky, like, I don't know why there's so much vertical motion. Okay, so I needed to use the ice ball to freeze the water, but now I need to go get the normal ball so that I can operate the elevator. That's what the normal ball's for. Ooh, but the catch is normal ball functions very poorly on ice. Uh, there we go. Oh, 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 don't fall off the cliff. Oh, yeah, that's another little puzzle solved. already up here. Not sure what I accomplished by doing all that. Let me try resetting so I'll get my heading again. Wants me to go through here. Alright, I'm on top of this room from earlier. Which I don't think I was able to do before. So rather than jumping back into the room, what happens if we climb over here? Where can we access up here that we couldn't before? That's too steep to climb. Um, was I able to get over here before? I feel like we're pretty high up, though probably not. I feel like this gateway is new. This is probably not the route I meant to take to it. Oh, I done fucked it up. Let's try that again. something that makes me a little nervous. Why does my restream seem to be saying I'm only streaming on one platform? Facebook error. Right, I guess I'm going to be uploading this stream to Facebook after the fact because it's not working tonight. That's fine, it's not like any of my Facebook friends look at my streams anyway. Hmm. 
Your stream has one job and it always does it badly. Oh no, this is part of a puzzle I already solved earlier. I don't think I actually accomplished anything by coming down here. The question is, where am I supposed to be going? Like the reset keeps pointing me in this direction. But if I jump down there, that's also a retread. Nope, don't jump down there. Come on now. You know, unless I'm supposed to backtrack and I've already activated something that previously was not activated. I'm not sure. I opened that aperture by pushing the button, but I don't know what I accomplished by doing that. Maybe this is climbable if I jump off of one of the things over here. Ah, uh, almost. I'm just not sure where I'm trying to get from here. A lot of the places I could go from here would constitute doubling back. Hmm. Maybe. What's going on in here? Ah, oh, this is too steep as well. Maybe I could use Ice Ball to climb those orbs and then get on top of that and jump on top of that. I don't know. I don't have an Ice Ball power up up here. Maybe I meant to jump into this icicle and break it and that would do something to the floor. I'm not sure. Worth a try, I guess. If I could get that kind of air. I don't really give you a lot of direction most of the time in this game. Maybe I should go back to the lower area and see if anything has changed now that I pushed a few buttons up here. I feel like there should be... Like, there's some kind of obvious direction that I'm missing. It's in this direction. I don't know if I've gone over there yet. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This looks like a new direction I haven't gone in. Where does this go, if anywhere? Is this an area that I couldn't get to before or not? Looks like I'm still too high up to have climbed up here previously. Maybe this is a new path. Okay, yes, this is definitely a path. I think this is the way to go. Oh, the reset has yet to acknowledge it, so we're gonna see, I guess. seen this path from below. I definitely think this is an actual path. Otherwise, why are these platforms lined up so close together? Huh. Why, am is, it, why is it so dark in this corner? 
that actually an area I'm supposed to go in? What's going on over here? Just some slightly shiny walls is all. Where does, does this go anywhere? Is this anything? Eh. I feel like this just goes down to where I was before. What was the purpose of this exercise? <laughs> I don't feel like I accomplished anything. Alright, let's jump down here and start heading back out, and then I'm gonna hit reset and see if it puts me back or if it acknowledges the new location I'm in. Okay, one of these is lit up. So there's gotta be like four more, and then I come back here, I guess. So we accomplished something, question mark. Let me see what happens if I hit reset now. Okay, yeah, we're on the right track. Now where do we go? Follow this guide, I guess. Yeah, you better run, Mr. Shiny Boy. Oh, I'm bumping you. This is an anti-magnet ball wall. I wonder if we're going to be involving the anti-grav shit soon. This looks like a waterfall I can climb if I freeze this room. I'm just wondering if there's anything in the pool. We're looking for, I guess, the ice ball power-up. And it sounds like there's also a lava pool here. Okay, the ice ball power-up's in there. But I need to cross the lava to get to it. Let's see if there's anything up here. spherical objects is a pain in the ass. So you really gotta be centered or you're just gonna slide off the side. There we go, alright, there's the fire power up. Make a beeline for that right quick. Oh crap, crap, there's a oh there's a gap here. God damn it. I didn't realize. At least they didn't make me reclimb the spherical staircase. question is, how am I going to get the ice ball back out of here? Is that a normal ball? I thought there was an ice ball power up in here. So how do I get out of this lava? Okay. Alright, there's an elevator here that'll let me escape out the top. Avoiding the lava. Where are we going? Okay. Oh, that's water. Now I've gone. Now I've gone and done it. Am I supposed to be in here? So we're gonna do some underwater platforming real quick. Get 
up there. Oh my god. I'm jumping a little too early. Hard to judge the distance. I'll try it from the side on. God damn it. What about this wall? Is this wall curved? I think this wall might be curved. That's the ticket. Nope, not quite. Get up there. Yes, yes, yes. Get up there. Alright, yeah, the, the curved wall is how you do it. How you do it proper. Looks like there's a water current here. Alright, and there's the ice power up we've been looking for. Gravity's funky here. Interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, yes. Back here. Now we can go and climb that waterfall. And I'm going to need to aim a little better than that. Once you touch the waterfall, you kind of have like a strong upward pull and you can't slow down. Alright, here's our second switch. So I think that reverted me to normal ball for whatever reason. Oh, that's a damn cliff. Where are we going? And rather than climbing, let's just reset ball. exit so we don't fall all the way down. Alright, where to next? Let's see if I can spot another guide. Over there looks like. Stuck again. Get up there. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Unbelievable. Now I'm lost at sea. Let's try this again. Okay, good. It didn't send me all the way back at least. Well, that's really slippery terrain. Okay. Ah, this again. I 
couldn't just be patient and follow the path. I had to try and take a shortcut. Because of course I did. I'm not jumping off the path right now. Not this time. We're just going to follow the path and chill the fuck out. That is very slippery ice down there. jumping puzzle. Alright, looks like we need to find a fire power up to smash this window and it's gonna be over there. We gotta jump across all these rings. Almost there. I try not to fall like a dumbass. Then we gotta go all the way back. We're like way out over the ocean now, huh? I'm gonna need more speed for this jump. Oh, okay, just barely enough. For a second, I thought I screwed it up. Last jump they ask of you is a big one. Yeah. Okay. It's all smaller jumps from here. Switch. Three out of five. Come on, glass shard, get out of my way. All right, there's another guide over there. Let's we'll see what his deal is. Oh dear. Now I'm going to be hard pressed to get back on land. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we're just going to reset. Jump to here, it might be easier to land. Unless I hit that ledge and go flying. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good, we're good.
Oh, almost fell there. Not what we want. The goddamn technology does not want to cooperate. BRB. Every time I turn around, my freaking technology is falling apart. Oh. Continuing on. Here's another guy. This is the last two over here. It didn't really make me work for that switch. I guess this was meant to be the first one you get to and it's just really easy to get and it demonstrates that you're supposed to be hitting these switches. Let's see this doorway. Are you serious, computer? Oh, my shit's broken. What if anything is back here? Have they been down here before? I don't think so. This just goes to where we were before, and the reset. And we go back to that other guide that I saw. This is just an alternate path to some places we've been. Should hopefully be the last of the five lights we need to light up. Oh, I was maybe booking it a little too fast there. 
fire marble to get down on that lava platform at the bottom of the room. Um, unless I'm completely mistaken the purpose of this room. I feel like the camera angle on the reset is implying in this direction. Oh, shit. I see some butterflies over there. Let's try that. jump directly there though, so let's go around. Oh, here's the fire gate. Just gonna see what's over here though. Nothing. It's decorative. Hmm. Need to put it all the way out here, isolated like. Achievement unlocked. Vivo. What does that mean? Uh, the descriptive text is in Alien, so I can't read it. Let's try reading that some other time. Alright, so we've got Fireball. Where do I bring it? I can't double back, because then I'll be removing the power up again. I guess I'll just follow this maze. Hmm. Oh, this looks promising. A collectible, at least. Oh, we'll take the left when we get back to the fork. side of the power update so we can return to where we came from and see what this fireball can do for us in that water room. Oh, god damn it, they took my power up off because I reset. You really have to get all the way back here without dropping the power up. Let's freaking try it again. Now that we know the direct route. Go a little bit less slow this time. Gonna go like speedrunner pace because we don't want to fall in the goddamn drink and have to start over. Now let's go over 
over here. I'm hesitant to just jump in because this is literally the same body of water that just screwed me up last time. But I feel like this ball is used for that circle of lava down there, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, yes, 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 that was a lava window. Um, and now we've got like a vortex effect, maybe this is the end of the level? That'd be weird, I never hit the fifth switch. Let's just get on down there and see what's up. And here, I think this is... Uh, okay, so here's a fire window. Guess we're not done yet. Like that. Now what do I do? to get through this part. Probably. Oh dear, where are we going? Okay, yeah, I think all I can do is climb back out of this. We're gonna need ice to proceed further. And this is gonna be a hassle to climb out of, but I'm afraid how much progress I'll lose if I reset. I'm not going to, as I absolutely must. Oh dear, I think I might have to reset to get out of this water. What if I jump up here? And then up here? No, oh, alright, I'm gonna reset. Okay, they didn't take my power up away or anything. Alright, so now that we shattered that fire window, let's try backtracking. I think I saw an ice ball in the first room of this segment. that gate right there. Look at this ice. We can goddamn get to it. Come on. This is just a barrier that we need water ball to get through. I oh, know it is. Okay. Now we go this way. And I don't remember there being all this fire here. I guess we're just going to have to be careful. This be a different path from the one I was just on. I thought I was coming in the same path from the other edge, but I guess not. Alright, now we're on the same path. We can freeze this pool. Now I assume we get Fireball back and we do something with it. I'm not sure to what end. Or no, now that we've done a whole lap, we can go through that window again, and we'll have Fireball this time. And then we do something with it. I'm actually not sure where the puzzle is going with this, but I'm just going to keep looping and see what happens. Uh, excuse me. Get back down there. Okay, now we can use Fireball to melt this ice. Which lets us get down to this normal ball gate. Uh, now what? I assume there's a elevator or something we need to use. That would be the only reason why we prefer a normal ball. Okay, we had a platform across that way. Again. Why the 
what we're doing. This looks promising. Okay, so now we can bring ice back into the first room. Or we could climb up that side instead. Let's see what happens if we go over there instead. Can I not climb this side? I look like I can climb this side. Unless I went like this on the top layer. And now I can climb that. Now I'm in here as normal ball for what it's worth. What do I do with that? Son of a bitch. God damn it. I think the whole point is to get back to the first room as normal ball. And maybe that elevator in the center of the room takes me somewhere I haven't been before. I could have sworn that was the way I came in, but maybe I'm remembering wrong. They're making me go through a lot of hassle just to get in a normal ball somewhere. I assume it has to be elevator related. Ice room poses no hazard other than getting stuck on a wall or some shit. Now I'm back here as normal ball. After doing like three goddamn laps. I assume I get on this ladder after this elevator and we see what the hell happens. Okay, the elevator goes up higher than I previously was. The whole purpose of that exercise was to get the elevator. And that brings me to the switch. Nice. That's a neat puzzle. Alright, now I can head back to the area with the five triangle lights. They should all be lit up now. to do one more level after this one, but not like a full world exploration level. I'm going the wrong goddamn way. I'm gonna just do like a couple more quickie ones and then call it. I actually got other shit I wanna do after this stream. Nope, don't leave without the elevator. are. We're in like the entrance to the first puzzle path I attended. And the way back over there. What's going on in that room now that all the lights are lit up?
Well, I thought I had a clever shortcut, but now we're back in the drink. Come on, there we go. Oh, was it? Okay, I had to climb up there, I remember now. So let's go take this elevator. accessible from ground level. I gotta climb a little bit first. This'll do. Yep, and then we gotta climb this or take that elevator off to the left. Uh, climbing is faster but more difficult. Let's just go take the elevator. elevator. Oh. Fancy. All that to reach this switch. Wonder what it does. Oh, it's the end of the level is what it does. Um, so let's go do this little optical course. Hopefully it'll be on the shorter side. I'd like to do one that I can complete in like half an hour. Oh, we, we don't have access to this. I'm not sure how to open it. Maybe we have to do everything else on this platform first. Alright, in that case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple of these little puzzle levels and we'll see how long they take. But I'm not going to do the big explorable world circle. We can start unlocking the bigger levels since there's so many little puzzles to do so. I just want some smaller self-contained stuff. Oh, I immediately fell. Good job, Zach. Try that again, preferably without falling in the cracks. Ooh, are we going to climb around on all this wacky stuff? Oh my. Making me a little bit dizzy. Getting a bit of vertigo. This is like the wacky, askew background objects you normally see in these levels. But now we're actually climbing on it as the main path. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, that's a cool planet back there. That looks like Mars. God damn, I right, try that again. Are you serious? It seems like the spot where they respawn you, you're too close to the jump to make the jump and you have to back up. The trick of this level is going to be landing with the proper spin so that you arrest your motion and don't go spinning off into the void. Or in this case, have enough motion to actually make the goddamn jump. Fucking hell. Uh, and they put me all the way back up here when I mess up. Blenderific. Oh, shit. 
Looks like I could jump to that platform though, rather than doing all those intermediate jumps. That one right there. Just jump to here. Nope, 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 nope. God damn it. Let's try a shortcut. Ah, uh, that almost worked. Momentum, now remove momentum. There we go. What I'm talking about. Imagine speedruns of this game must look fucking crazy. Assuming they exist, I haven't seen that much online presence for this game. Damn, we were close. We can maybe still save this. Nope, it's probably too late. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. God damn, I'm very stuck. And there's too much gravity there. Right, let's try that again. It's very oh my god, I'm all the way back up here. Are you kidding me? That's fine. At least it's not the, the checkpoint it was previous. That would be really bad. It's way too early, but we still made it, so it's okay. This part a little bit slower. Don't accelerate too much. Pump the brakes. And now speed up. Alright. That, yes. Slow it down, slow it down. Now go. Hey, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, too much gas, too much gas. Alright, we're still okay. Alright, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, hey, there's the exit. Nice, nice, nice. Did I just botch it on the last jump? Oh my god, I did. Zach, what the hell is your problem? Okay, the final checkpoint was incredibly merciful. Uh, we're at 137. I think I could probably do the other three in this set, no problem. I wanna, I wanna run for about two hours total. Mini puzzles. Definitely not feeling up to exploring a whole other world tonight. The only thing. Looks like we have another. I think these are all going to be iterations of this fast downhill slalom course. Going to continue to be the unifying theme of this set. Which honestly is kind of cool. I vibe with it. I just, you know, not great at it. Sort of feels like like the monkey ball courses, you know. You got to really build up speed and then land precisely. Oh, ooh, okay. Um, nope. There's no saving that. God damn. Slope, so oh, I overcorrected. <laughs> Yar. Not believe the level of technical difficulties I'm having this stream. 
straight up out control. Oh, and I've totally overshot that. They really make you work hard to unlock this world for these puzzles. These are not like easy platforming challenges. Oh my god, I screwed it up again. You really gotta be rather precise. We can land this, we can land this. I didn't overcorrect and shoot off into space, which is nice. Okay, I guess we're going here. Oh, oh. Uh, Alright, we're okay. Alright, now uh, another one of these courses. Can we do it? Can we do it? speed. Oh shit. May have stuffed it up. I may have stuffed it up. Oh. Alright, we're okay. Got a little bit wild out of the end there, but we didn't fall. Oh, I couldn't pump the brakes fast enough. Damn it. And they mostly saved our progress for us. Do I go here? Nope, that's way too far. Damn it. I was almost there, too. Ah, damn. Alright, now we've got a clear path forward. I think we're at the bottom, because when I fell past this earlier, it despawned me. Oh, that was a bit of an overcorrection, but we're okay. And there's the exit. Nice, nice, nice. Two out of four. Keep going. Only well, imagine how hard the actual world is going to be once I've done all these puzzles. Hey Mel, hate to break it to you, but I'm almost done streaming for the night. Um, on the plus side, I was thinking of getting on VR chat later. Now that my voice is kind of working again, I'm gonna do this level and another mini one after this one. Mm. Sorry. I've been streaming for like a, an hour 40 minutes. I don't want to overdo it with my voice because I only just relearned how to talk yesterday. It was, my voice was shot for days and days. Yeah, that might be cool. Um, I forget what your time zone was, but I was probably going to get on there around 10 Eastern. I might play some Rec Room first. I haven't done Rec Room in forever, and I'm kind of thinking I want to do more paintball. Am I going the right way? What the heck? Oh, and I've overshot like a dummy. Yeah, I was going the right way, though. Just to confirm. So for you, it is like 6.50 right now. Okay, cool. So I'll be on around 7 your time. Or not 7 your... Uh, 9 your time. 
because I was gonna, it's already almost 10, I was gonna rec room for like an hour or two and then switch to VR chat. Yeah, you see when you're hungry, you know? No big deal. We go cliff. I'm good at losing any progress though. Off to the races. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Big shoes, like big, big boots, or like they actually shoes. When the hell is this taking me? Am I really, I don't think I'm supposed to be on this platform. I think I was supposed to get on the other one. <laughs> I thought you already had goth boots, Mel. Let's go get some shows. Shows. God fucking damn it. Second, do you have unofficial pairs of goth boots? Yes. <laughs> what what constitutes an unofficial pair of goth boots as opposed to an official pair? The brand. Oh, I see. Got to have that designer fashion. Shoot. Good lord. Yeah, that's expensive. It's footwear. The most I ever pay for like a good pair of boots is like hundred bucks, and that's for like non-fashion boots, just normal hiking boots that like my current ones I've been wearing since high school. And they're still holding up pretty well. But I do need to get part of the body restitched to the sole because it's starting to get a little bit of a hole on the heel. so bad at video game. How have you not broken them in? Are you just not wearing them that much or are they just really hard to break in? God damn, that's a hard jump. Oh, but it saved it because I touched the platform. They saved the progress for me. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I see. I wouldn't know. I've never owned Doc Martens. That's a brand Zoe likes a lot. Uh, uh, get up there. Get up there, marble. Alright, just one more. We're on puzzle four out of four now. They change colors you more that you wear them. Neat. What, what color were they originally? Hmm. All right, last one. I am afraid to see how hard this one is and how hard the last two were. Oh, oh, we trucking, we really trucking. Every here feels kind of funky. It's just my perspective. That's weird. I've never heard of black leather turning red. Does it have like 
a coating on what is actually a red leather or like how is that constructed? Oh, interesting. It's neat that there's like a visual representation of how much you've worn them. This is going pretty good so far. I say, probably jinxing myself. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, what's the cat news? I love cats and cat news. The evil cat has been banned from the groomers. <laughs> Which one is the evil cat? And how will you groom them now? Ender. Was Ender attacking the groomers? That's no bueno. Oh, goddamn, fell off the last jump. Ah. Uh right at the end too. Okay, none of these were difficult jumps the first time. Oh, yeah, I gotta get better about brushing Apricot. He developed some mats, and now it's like hard to brush him as a result of them. I gotta start brushing him every day so that doesn't happen anymore. Especially once those mats are out, there's no excuse. I gotta give them brushies every single day. Yeah, I mean, they're almost out. They're not really that well attached to them anymore. But they're attached enough that I wouldn't want to risk it with scissors. I'm just kind of working on them every day until they come out. Silver had a bunch of small mats when he was shedding his coat for the summer. But he, like, pulled them all out on his own. Like, he was very aggressive about grooming them. So now he's mat-free. Um... Because I guess he takes pride in his coat, a good boy. But Mr. Apricot does not give a shit, so... I have to keep working on them for him. <laughs> oh god damn, I forgot to correct my spin. Yeah. It's, it's a serious thing with long hair cats, which Silver's short haired, that's why he was able to take care of his own so easily. The apricot's got big foofy fur, so it's a bit more of a problem for him. Alright, that's much better. Try not to fall at the very end again. And jump for it. Yes, 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 yes. There's our fourth puzzle. We've unlocked the next world. I'm not going to try and complete this tonight, but I am going to poke my head in and take a quick look around. And then I'll, I'll call it a stream. We're right at 10 o'clock, which is when I originally wanted to stop. What are we at? We're at 1 minute, uh, 1 hour 54 minutes. We will go until the 2 hour mark and then I'll sign off. Oh, cool. It's like a giant brutalist architecture. And everything seems to be hexagons up there. Or, no, hexagons are six sides, right? These are, I think, pentagons. Oh, no, those have six. I miscounted. Oh, is this hexagon world? Question mark. 
It's like even these pillars down here, six-sided. Oh, yeah, yeah, Pentagon is five. Do these have six. Neat that it's an entire world structured around hexes. Oh, and some of the stone moves on its own. I really, I really like the vibe of this place a lot. And they like extend as far as the eye can see. Like I don't see a cliff, it's just more land. I assume I'll hit a wall or something eventually. Yeah, more so than I currently am. It's just stuck in this little ravine. God damn. Why am I so bad at video game? I hope if I could see what I was doing. Hey game lighting, you wanna throw me a bone here? And I'm really stuck. Let's just hit the reset button. Try that again. I just kind of want to go over there where all the open space is real quick. Okay, there's a cliff. Yeah, if you fall down there, you're very stuck. I love how fast you can get booking when you have a lot of open space. Rolling around at the speed of sound, if you will. Oh, shit, more cliffs. Here's the cliffs, we found them. Ooh, what's, is that a new, new power-up I see? That's one I haven't had before. Um, okay, what? like invisible terrain and you need this weird power up to go on it. Um, excuse me, what? Oh, but there are still cliffs, even if you're the weird ball. If there's a cliff, I'm gonna find it and I'll fall in it. Oh god damn, and it's harder to see where the cliffs are because even the shit you can walk on is only visible right next to you. Rip. Okay, now, now it's just like, where the heck am I going? I think the protocol with this is stick to visible ground unless you have to stray from the path. And in those scenarios, you should see some of the invisible ground before you need it, like right here. Interesting. You gotta kinda take it slow because you can't see it too far ahead. So don't know where the heck I'm supposed to be heading. I really like the music here a lot. It's got a nice vibe. Yeah. Pretty much. Now I'm at the point where it's like I have no idea where I'm going next. Maybe over there.
All right, we're at 10.05. I'm going to say next time I fall, we're calling it for the night. Which, now that I've said that, it's probably going to happen almost immediately. Oh, there's some invisible ground. Oh, and there's the fall. <laughs> okay. I'm not even off a cliff. I'm just very, very stuck. Does this go anywhere? I think I'm down below where I started. And there's a cliff. All right, so that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, thank you for watching. If you did watch, Mel, I will maybe see you on VR chat later if you're around. Um, anyway, have a good evening.